Hello everyone, welcome back, and welcome to another episode of The Hatchet Project. Hopefully we're going to be finishing this up real soon. This has already gone on a little longer than I've wanted, so we're just going to jump right in. Although before we jump in, there is a big issue I'd like to point out. As some of you eagle-eyed viewers might see, looks like there is a crack right there. And I saw another one trying to form up here from what it looks like. Yeah, like right there. So that may be an issue in itself. But today, we drill. vice just heated up past the point of comfortability to the touch. Okay, so I apologize for the sudden change in location, but some stuff happened, so bear with me here. Um, it was around that time that I decided to scrap the project. Yes, I ended up giving up on it. Now, this is for a variety of reasons. The punches were actually getting harmed by the steel, which is really unusual. Um, and just annealing it over and over again just did not sound like it would be a very good idea. Um, I would still be working on it now, like, and it's been a while since I recorded that, so, um, yeah, life has been a little chaotic, so it's been hard for me to get around to that stuff, but all this to say that, uh, I scrapped the project, um, it was becoming a little too much, I had other things I needed to focus on, so, yeah. Um, as you might notice, this video is a little bit longer than, like, right now. It's not cutting off right now, so here goes the next part of the video, which ended up being decently good. Hello everyone, welcome back. So, today, we're going to be doing a fun little sock project, just a short little video, where we are going to be making some anvil tooling. So this is going to go into that square hole that you sometimes see, where I have that one little thing in it. Uh, and it is going to be for the purpose of a future video. It's going to look actually pretty similar to it, it's just going to be at a little sharper of an angle. So, with that, I guess, now that the project's explained, time to make it happen. cut out now and the general game plan of this is to press it down to upset it as they call it to square it up and to get to fit into that square hole known as the hardy hole and I'm going to see if I can make probably this side to sort of get that nice sort of angle going on it and we'll see where it goes from there hopefully it actually turns out the way I want it to turn out
just like I am now the proud owner of a new party tool that I myself made. Decided to oil quench it, make it nice and hard, um, and it looks like it came out pretty well. I mean, it's, it's pretty even, you know, it's a little bit uneven, I think. Maybe on this side it's a little bit more aggressive. No, on this side maybe a little more aggressive than this side, but, eh, it'll... It'll flush itself out over time, I'm sure. Whatever. I don't know. I haven't made this before. I don't know what I'm doing. But, it was a fun project to work on. It was a nice little thing to spend you know, maybe two hours on at most. So, yeah. I just... This is the first time I've done something like this, aside from that other thing that I have laying around here somewhere. This is just a better version of it. So, yeah. I'm just really glad about how it turned out. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all have a great day.